So this is going to be a fun little tutorial walking through the type animation in this KFC advert. First up, you get your text layers and we're going to pre-compose the first layer of text. And then from here, you go into that comp and then crop the comps and it fits snug around the text layer. I also pre-comp my other layers of text, but you don't really need to do that. You can just use this as a duplicate once we've done it. Then from here, you set your anchor point to the bottom of the text and scale it on one of the axes from 100 to 0 and then create a duplicate and flip that. So then you put the anchor point at the top of the text and scale it the opposite direction so you get this kind of motion. I've then offset my layers a little bit just to create a little small gap between the layers and then also made them like 12 frames long. And now we're going to create a copy of that text layer and then call it gradient and then in that text layer we delete the text add a solid and I've just again called that gradient you can call it whatever you want you don't really even need to rename it if you don't want to but on this solid we're going to then add a gradient ramp and I set mine up like so which will create as a similar effect to the KFC commercial and then on the text pre comp that we've got, we're going to add a time displacement and then set the displacement to the gradient composition and then change your settings like so. You can have a play with this, but this is what I found worked for me. And then I've gone in and just moved the placement of my keyframes to start a little bit later. And then from here as well, you can adjust the gradient if you've not got the effect that you want. You can also create any kind of gradient and it's going to give you a totally different effect. Make sure to have a play and see what you get. And then ease, ease the keyframes, you will again get a slightly different effect on the transitions. And then this is where I said you don't need to pre-comp all of the layers because you can just make a duplication of the original Kentucky text layer that we made and do as many text layers as you want. Feel free to just skip ahead here if you've kind of got this part locked in. I'm going to keep the video there just so then we've got it and you can follow along. And now once you're happy with the motion, I here then added an adjustment layer and then added a posterized time effect and it made it 12 frames per second just to give it that kind of uh, vintage aesthetic. Looks pretty good. Now I've just added the actual video to the top of the layer just to use it as a reference and then we can follow along. This is the second type animation and here we're going to use a type effect which to be honest, if you're an After Effects user, you should know how to use the type effectors. This is going to be a fun 3D one. We're going to create the, the 3D revolving spin. So to get that same effect where we spin in the center of the text, we're going to remove the Y position, which just follow along to the video and you'll get the same. And then we're going to toggle down the text settings and change the animate in point from minus 90 to minus 180 and then it looks like so and then now we need to create this scale down and the motion tile effect Pick up that text layer and then I'm going to crop it so then it fits snug again. And then from here we're going to apply the motion tile effect to that text layer. And we're just going to expand it, extend it, expand it, however you want to call it. Create this scale down motion. So you can see I've got the asset attached at the top center of the screen. I'm just going to follow along so we match it. So we'll create this scale down, it's only a matter of a few frames. And then we're going to cut the layer, so you use Command D and you know, it'll slice the layer. We're going to add a fill to it and basically invert it so we'll match the red and then we'll also split the background layer and do the same thing again, Command D and just invert the colour. So we get that opposite. And then on the other layer we're just going to delete the motion tile and then we've got the asset matching. If there's anything else you want to learn or, or walk through of a different advert or commercial you've seen, drop me a comment and I'll make it up. Thank you.